Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. In our Farm Basics time, we're going to discuss plant health and the role that fungicides can play in that. So I just remember quite a number of years ago, Darren and I went over to Denmark and we talked to an agronomist there who said he was using what we call headline here in the United States and it wasn't controlling disease, it was giving him plant health benefits. And I thought, oh, come on, really plant health benefits? Well, actually with the science now, they have found that there are three things that happen when you spray a strobilurin fungicide like headline and we wanted to talk about that just a little bit today because it's kind of unique it's a fungicide but we're not talking about controlling disease we're talking about some other benefits in the plant well there are other things that are going on and one of those things that's really cool that i've found especially in an area that can get a little bit hot in the middle of the season is a lower crop canopy temperature so it can actually bring down the temperature of those plants right in the heat of the summer. Now you may say well really how much can it bring it down? Hey even if it's just a couple two or three degrees that could be the difference between pollination and pollination failure. Those types of things that we actually saw happen last summer in seed corn production for example. So fungicides can actually lower the temperature of the plants. The biggest thing that's probably noticeable if you spray a strobilurin fungicide is your plants will be greener longer. The reason why is there's less ethylene in the plant. Ethylene is the plant growth hormone that basically tells the plant to finish. And it is kind of nice when there's less of that because then the plant in effect lives a little longer. That's why the plant is greener longer. Now you may not like green stems in your soybeans, I get that. But if you have a plant that's greener longer, hopefully because it lived longer, it yields just a little bit more. So there are some trade-offs there, but less ethylene is definitely a plant health benefit. Now, one thing that's the same in humans as it is in plants, antioxidants can be a good thing. And that's one thing that fungicides can do in plants. They can lead that plant to produce more antioxidants. Now, when it comes to fighting off different diseases and other negative factors out there, antioxidants can help plants much the same way they help humans. So if we go back when Darren and I were in Denmark and we talked to this agronomist, I just said, well, look, the plant health benefits I think the plant has is it probably had a low level of disease that's now controlled and you might not think much of that, but I think that's a big deal. So we always talk about that. But again, there are three proven plant health benefits separate from disease control. It's a lower temperature in the crop, not by a lot, but a little bit, less ethylene and more antioxidants. Well, there's certainly lots of good things happening out in our fields, but one thing we don't want to see in those fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? <music> 